of you are probably thinking that in this position I would prepare things to say, but I didn't prepare anything. I didn't think of anything. When my wife called me on Saturday morning, I wasn't with her and my two daughters. She was visiting her mother. I was back at our home. When she told me on the phone, whispering, terrifying, that she hearing gunshots, people entering inside the house and they are locked in the safe room, I thought to myself, that it's best for us to keep quiet and disconnected the call. This was our last call. And I thought to myself, this is hell. The next few hours, trying to get a lot of information, trying to reach her mother-in-law on the phone, trying to locate her mobile. So it was past the border. I thought to myself, no, this is hell. And later on, when I saw a video, which I recognized, my wife and two daughters, with terrorists all around them, screaming, Allah Akbar, putting cover on my wife's head, recognized my Little daughter, purple dress. My older daughter, Raz, less than five. My younger daughter, Aviv, less than three. When I saw that video, I thought to myself at the third time, no, this, this is hell. I have no training in di diplomacy or security. I have no understanding of those kind of matters. <sighs> they, are, they are babies. They need treatment. They need medicine. My wife needs medicine. Babies cannot hold in captivity much longer. I never believed, you know, my grandmother's wife, Tirza, who passed on the age of 100 just a few months ago, was a Holocaust survivor. I never, saw, I never thought that I lived to see a Holocaust. I don't know who to approach. I don't know what to say. No one prepare a script for me. I just want the world to know that there are babies in captivity holding by I don't know who. <coughs> but there is immediate danger to their lives, my wife's life. They are my whole family. I don't have another babies. I am all alone. If something will happen to them, I don't know how can I survive. Every day goes by. The situation is getting worse. Those are babies. I miss the smell of their hair. Yesterday I went in their the room and hugged the pillows and cried. I couldn't look at their photos. I can't open their drawers, look at their clothes. I can't. I can't allow to myself focus more than 10 seconds on their pictures. I, I don't see their pictures. But you know what? The third time I thought not, this is hell, was even not the video. It was when I saw, I didn't saw, but I heard and I understand the images you just saw. <laughs> That's when I thought, no, this is hell. I can't eat, I can't sleep, I can't think of anything else. I know the diplomacy world, the political world, is a cold and cynical world. Please, please, I'm begging you, begging you, 
everyone that can hear me. I'm begging you. It's not, it's, it doesn't matter who. Anyone that can hear me. Don't hurt them. Time is critical. Each day goes by. The chances that they are will suffer or I don't know what will be much bigger. Thank you.